Here, I have a scene with a missing resource. You can see that because the video file name on the top left in resources is red and there is no content playing in my scene. So to find this, we go to our missing content at the top left, right click, go to find missing resources at the bottom, go to the three dotted icon like so, and now go to the folder where your missing resource is. So mine's in resources, select folder, and now you'll see that the missing file links have gone because Notch is now linked back up to that source. By default, video files are not embedded into projects because they can make your DFX file really large. If you do want to embed your video file, this is how you do it. So currently, we go back to our resource here, right click, scroll down and go to do not embed resource. Currently it's ticked, so we're gonna untick it. And now my file has gone gray. And this is because Notch has now embedded it into our project. A really great feature, which I love in Notch, is the ability to keep video resources continuously updated as you work on them in other applications. To do this, we wanna go back to our video file, right click and select reflect resource changes here. Now, when you ever export to save your video file, it's automatically imported back into Notch. So you'll always have the most recent version in your Notch project.